Sven Verci and the Portland Winterhawks are continuing their battle with the Edmonton Oil Kings in the WHL Championship Series as the Swiss-born left winger is second in Hawks playoff scoring in just his second season in the WHL. He's a great kid, uh, personality-wise. He's just got a gr great personality. Uh, he doesn't let things bother him too much. He's always up upbeat, lots of energy. And then on the ice, he's a really he's a dynamic player. He he sees sees things well. He's got great skills, good vision out there. Sometimes he passes a little bit too much. He probably should shoot a little bit more. Uh, that's from a coaching perspective. But he's got a good all-round game. Berchi came over to Portland to increase his NHL draft stock for last summer's entry draft, where he was taken 13th overall by the Calgary Flames to cap off a wild first season in the league. It was a special experience, and uh, I mean, if I look back, you know, I never thought that would happen, you know, and going, going to the draft and everything, getting drafted, and then uh, being, being able to get drafted, you know, from Calgary in the first round, you know, it's something real special, and a lot of guys probably dream of that, and... Uh, for me, it was just uh, the whole whole last two years, you know, were a great experience for me coming in, going over here uh, to North America and play, uh, play hockey here. It's, uh, it's something uh, I can really, you know, uh, take a lot of things out. Towards the end of the season, with Portland making a push for top spot in the Western Conference, Berchi was called up by the Flames in the midst of their push to get into the playoffs for a great experience that saw him score three goals in just five games. I was really surprised, you know, I had no idea that it actually could happen. That, uh, when they sent me back in the summer, you know, after camp, you know, uh, <clears throat> that they actually could call me up again and then go play with him. And, you know, during that time where it was so close to, you know, making the playoffs for Calgary and then... Uh, being able to get called up and then uh, actually play my first game two days later, you know, it was something real special. From our perspective and from his, it was a great experience. Uh, just the way the organization treated him when he was there, uh, the opportunity uh, that Sutter uh, gave him to play in key situations, I thought that was outstanding. And he felt like the organization had confidence in him. He played with confidence out there on the ice and he contributed. And then I think off the ice when he came back, what he told our players was just how the veterans were, how they treated him, uh, how professional it was there. And I think those, those off ice things uh, that players can see, they can observe are really important if they want to be a good pro. Well, you know, I saw how, how hard it is to play up there and uh, especially, you know, a lot of a lot of people said it's like it was like playoffs already. So uh, it was really exciting. It was uh, it was really tough to play. I learned, you know, from the coach and uh, everybody on the team. I learned a lot of things. You know, do the right decisions out there. And it does help you when you go back to Chile. It does really help you. And so you want to make sure you do the same thing down here. You're not trying to do too much. And it just make sure you do your job out there. Berchi and the Winterhawks have battled their way back into the WHL Championship Series and taken a 2-1 lead overall as Sven tallied three goals and one assist in the first three games. Game four goes Tuesday night from Portland live here on Shaw TV at 8 p.m. Jordan Greenlee, Shaw TV, Capital Region.